bed I see you out here setting up. See that like my hustle. Hey T, how long you been hustling? Yeah. Or just hustling? Okay, my name is Tracia Talley. My business is called Gorgeous Hustle. For a year. Gorgeous Hustle for a year. Okay. Yes. Um, I was doing the free phone for five years, and in that time, I always heard that people liked my hustle, or I was really pretty, and so I put it together. Gorgeous Hustle. Yes, and then people always liked my stuff I had on, like from the shirt to the, a, a bracelet or something. So I was like, one day I was sitting there and the free phone type was like dying. And then I was just like, I need to do something. And I think I was like sitting around. I see my friend, he does free phones. I seen him start selling like um, Bluetooth speakers or something. And then I said, oh, we could sell stuff with our phones. And then I just thought about the number one thing people always like is the stuff I have. So I just started buying a little bit of stuff, and then the girls liked it. Then they wanted to request stuff like eyelashes and way more. You got a lip gloss, and I'm at a gas station, so it turned into keychains, air fresheners, t-shirts, sleeves. are cut up though. Um, yeah. The eyelashes, you want to see that? Okay. Thank you. They're just like pretty taped up there. <laughs> Uh, five. And then these are ten. These are five. These are the smaller versions. Emergency changeups. So then I was like, okay. Emergency. And the guys wanted stuff, and then now they ask for kids stuff. Um. Well, I came out of like, uh, I was having family situations and I came out of um, like DCFS and then I went to this program and when I was in the program, um, they had rented me out of room um, and then one day they told me my time was up for the room and then I like didn't have anything, like I had to literally get my stuff out and like I had two days so all I thought about is, okay, I probably could, if I'm homeless, then I at least need to have a job so I could fix my situation. So I went around with my friend who was looking for jobs and then I seen and met this lady named Valencia. She was doing free phones. And then I just went up and asked her um, like how to do the free phones. And she told me, and then I just said, okay, this is easy, just sign people up. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> Um, 19. No, I wasn't, I didn't really like, I, I'm not gonna, I literally didn't even speak to people. So it was, it was awkward that I got it out to ask her and then I ended up having to like, get used to her before I actually started. So okay. I would just go there and talk to her and then one day she was like, you actually have to sign up. So I signed up and then... Yeah. Well, I'm happy I learned customer service way before the business because I think that helps a lot because like if some people have businesses and then they're like rude or ish, or just it's just not for the customer. So I'm happy that I, I know how to deal with like if you curse me out or you kick something, you know. I know how to deal with that part. So I think that's the number one thing because sometimes I have like days where I just want to walk away from my table. But yeah, customer service is like the biggest. If if I didn't know customer service, I don't think I would be doing this right now. Do that more. Oh. I was set up with certain people doing free phones and I didn't like the way they were doing their their like treating people. So then, like I just remember, like we would ask people, do they want a free phone? And then if the person didn't want the free phone, then the people by me would be like, oh, well, you need one, or something like that. And then I'll see their personal arguments or people coming back to fight them and stuff. 
and then I was like, they just didn't want the phone in my head. So, <laughs> yeah. So then I was just like, oh, you know what? First it was let me let me go sit by myself from now on, and then when I was by myself, or like either I'm being nice, and then they'll be like, you don't have to be that nice to that person, and then I'll be like, okay, well how are we gonna? Who's gonna wanna sign up for us if I'm not being nice? That, so, yeah, somebody's being rude. So. I could have turned this into something else, but I said I need I need something that, that I could walk by and be like, this is what this is what I'm doing. If I just walk out my room and then I'd be like, okay, fashion, music, art, gorgeous hustle. So, yeah, and good vibes. Um, I think the stuff that I've been through, I wasn't allowed to like express myself as a kid ever and then when I got grown I was like uh, I don't want to be like everybody that I, like they dreams either get crushed or something and then they just go on to like regular like you know like I don't know I just wanted to stay exciting and keep doing the stuff that I didn't wasn't able to do Yes. Yeah, that's bad. That sounds bad. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Um. Well, you. Uh, <laughs> my friend James. Um, cause like he, he's like a, a, a what is it? He he just works. Like I'd be like, you don't do anything else. He just straight works. And I think like, um times that I like wanted to like give up or I didn't think I could do something he'll like talk me into it or like if I see that I and then one day I was like what are you doing he was like I just fixed up one house so then um I think I started hanging around him and then I seen that I motivated him because one day he just was like oh to you I actually made me come out the house and get a job and do stuff so yeah I think the fact that he I, I seen him like change kind of and then now he's like doing all this. He like motivates me, you know, because it's like he, you know. And then uh, my dad, um, he was like a, like a critic, critic, critic. Oh, critic. Yeah, he was really hard. I got you. <laughs> he was really hard on me when I was, uh, when I got out of that situation. And I was, I had to go stay with him. And I didn't know what to do. I was just like sitting around sad and depressed. And he literally, used funny antics or whatever to try to get me to get out the housing and like you know how you go through mental health a little and people be trying to baby you he more than like i don't think nobody should do this but he more than like antagonized me out of being depressed and then like if i when i started getting stuff rolling he'll just like keep saying you know stuff or he'll talk about his stuff he was going through and then so i think james my dad you and I don't have that many people. Okay. Not to be, be no, that's, that's fine. Uh, Self motivation is a thing. And I apologize if I forget somebody and they end up seeing this and say you didn't say anything. Um, oh, and my team, Ishan, um, Ishan and Pac Man. They've been through some stuff with me, but yeah. Um, well, everybody I follow on my Instagram. It's like a little too hmm. Oprah. Okay. And Tyra Banks. Okay. And I see I see the Nip the Nipsey poster. You know? Oh and Nipsey. Nipsey. And then uh, <laughs> uh um it's like a few but the reason it's hard for me because um you know some people's personal stuff kinda of takes over their stuff, so Chala, yeah. But I know Oprah, she don't really, she don't want her personal stuff and take over some of her Tyra Banks and you know, people like that. Okay. <laughs> um 
I just like to see people happy. So like, if I see you happy, then I'm just happier and we're just happy together. And But if I see you sad or mad, then I always try to put my like, entire time into trying to make you happy before you leave me. So that's why I try to keep that energy on my table. Because I want you to be happy when you come over here. But if you're not, you're going to be happy before you leave. Like, even if I have to make fun of something I'm doing, a joke or just anything, I just, I just want to see you laugh before you leave. Yeah. Um, usually I just go by the people, so, well, no, okay, it's two different ones, so one, I just keep, well, over the, like, past year, I just keep it going by keeping the stuff that I know they like, like, um, I'm in a gas station, so they want air fresheners and keychains and steering wheel covers, or, like, um, or, like, emergency, like, some girls might be driving by and her eyelashes missing, so she'll buy $5 you know or um so i'll just keep that going and then or if i go to the store and i buy something like that purse right there um i liked that so i, I was like somebody's gonna ask me where i got that from so i bought four of those so i'll do it that way i'll, I'll personally buy the repeat of what i had is selling over because you're gonna ask me or i'll just keep what you already like and then i i, I love to get the stuff that nobody's like seen at least out here because i'm out here in the desert so I try to keep stuff that's like, oh, oh, that's different, you know? <laughs> like the taser phone tasers. And tasers and comb knives and all types of stuff. Hey, you have taser? Yeah, uh, not, I ran out right now, but usually I have tasers, okay. um, the cell phone version or the comb knives or, you know, I need really? Taser. Tasers? Okay, uh, if you give me like a week, then I should have more. Okay, I'll call yeah. you, okay? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> self defense. Um, shopping, is that like shopping and re like, I don't know, like retail, it's like fun. So then it's like, oh, I like people to be like, they buy something. I just like, I like shopping. So I be wanting people to like shopping with me. And some of my hustles are, are the free phones still. I still do the free phones. People always need a phone. So I came back to doing that. I did it for like five years. So it's, e it's like easy. And then like, um, that or like, um, clothes well i haven't started my fashion line yet that would have been a hustle but um i think i'm gonna need more money for that part so i just that's just like when i make it then i could do that do that part um i don't really i just i i don't know if i have a lot of hustles it's like it just got stuck to phones and and that did i answer that right um well, when I, when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to like really do anything. So uh, I used to ask for books. And then one day, like, I guess I just looked at the, the, the girls in the books that I was, you know, pretending I had their lives or whatever. And then I liked the stuff they was wearing. I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, dress how I wanted to dress or whatever. So I, I don't know, I was so bored as a kid or couldn't do anything that um, one day I asked for paper and I just started drawing. And then I end up like, that's all I could do is draw. So I just draw. And then I started singing when I got bored. I just randomly started singing. And then I was like, oh, this is fun. But then I was told to be quiet or my drawings was ripped up. So then it was like a space of time where I just didn't do anything. And then so now I draw stack it up and then uh, one day I'll pay for studio time. I really don't want to do that. I'll just make it a studio in here. And then I'll just do the stuff that I, I That's the thing. You know, people always go through something and then they their, their uh, hobby stops. That's what I wanted to keep it going. So at some time in life, I could finish it. Yeah.
How are you doing today? <laughs> Why did you make that? Cause I'm good. One more time. Oh, See? Know. Tell her. <laughs> Tell her. No. One more time. You just she keep fucking going. me up. You keep going. No. Do it again. She fucking me up. <laughs> Talk about why I make that face. <laughs> Hello, Jessica. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we gotta yeah. be serious. Yeah. This is 